the show where we count down the hottest hip-hop and R&B videos of the week. I'm here in New York City, about to head up to the Funkadelic Rehearsal Studios to interrupt Eternia and her beatboxer Chesney in the middle of their rehearsal. Trust me, it's going to be dope. Plus, i got heaps of videos to play for you, including The Roots and Chris Brown coming up, but the number 10 song of the week. This girl loves getting her nails done. It's all about the nails. Kid sister, pro nails. Are you ready? At number eight on the countdown, that was TZ Jew with Computer Love. I'm here at the Funkadelic Studios in New York City. This is where bands come to rehearse. You can probably hear them right now all around us. And we are interrupted, this rehearsal studio, to bring Eternia to you. Welcome to the show. What's up? How are you doing? Eternia, originally from Canada, mm -hmm. from Toronto, representing, but living in New York City now. How are you finding it? I mean, you know what? There's no place like home. It just taught me to appreciate what I had. Not to say I'm disrespecting New York. New York's taught me a lot, too. but. Mm -hmm. Toronto is always my home, no matter what. Fair enough. And we know you, you've collaborated with A Love. In Australia, you had a big song called Moving. Moving. Yeah. That was pretty huge. Yeah. Um, we also did a song. It was like one of the first songs on the Foreign Heights album. So yeah. you get a lot of love in Australia. Um, but you released an album called. Um, it's called Life. It's called Life. I was yeah. going to say, This is the Life. It's called Life. Yeah. And it had a really beautiful song on it called Love. Now, this one touched me because it's. One of those songs that you don't hear all the time, especially from your perspective. So you want to tell us what it's all about? Yeah, Love was actually, I'm glad you brought it up. It was my favorite song on that album, personally, as an artist. Um, it was about my mother uh, when she was pregnant with me, uh, deciding to either keep me or abort the pregnancy. And the reason why she was having to go through that decision is because she was in an abusive relationship with my father. So I'm talking about uh, a pretty difficult subject. And actually, it was um, the song supported Amnesty International's Stop Violence Against Women campaign, which was really cool. Um, my sister sang on the hook. It's really a family affair, mm -hmm. very moving. We had the cello in there. like So yeah, it was, it was definitely, you know, I, I, hip hop it means different things to different people. But to me, it means therapy, being the most real, honest, as you can and that's what I did with that song. Okay, so if it's therapy, what did you learn? Like how did you go from that whole experience? Um, that's a good question. I mean, more than anything, just being able to play it for my mother and see the tears in her eyes and just have things come full circle. What I learned from that experience is that I definitely have a purpose of being here. Like if I was almost about to be, you know, terminated before I was born, and now I'm here in front of you, you know, doing this interview, there's a reason why I'm here. Yeah, taking over the world. Eternia, right now on the countdown, we're gonna check out the video for the song we're talking about, Love, featuring your sister. Yeah, Love featuring Jessica Kaya. Pull out the tissue, it's a tear jerker. All right, let's get into it. Are you ready? Hanging out on the countdown with me today is Eternia. We're in New York City. This yeah, is your rehearsal yeah. studio. What are you doing here? Um, we're at Funkadelic. I'm actually chilling, rehearsing for a show I'm about to do in Philly nice. um, with Scratch of the Roots, Reef the Lost Cause, and my homeboy Chesney Snow. He beatboxes with me. So um, I'm going to meet him very soon. Yeah, we'll anywhere. be meeting him soon. So we just, you know, yeah. hanging out. Do you enjoy living in New York City as opposed to Toronto? How are you finding it? Um, yeah, it's, it's taught me a lot. So that's all I'll say. It's definitely <laughs> taught me a lot. Culture shock for sure. People think Canada and the U.S. are quite similar. They're not. That's all I have to say. Yeah. So what's the, the culture shock? Is it the people holler? Because I've had the full New York experience. I've, had, I've been abused in the street. I've been hollered at. I've been stuck in traffic. I mean, what don't you like about all those wonderful things? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get too serious with it, okay. but... But definitely, um, the way that men and women interact here is very different than back home. They okay. say that there's no such thing as a platonic friendship here. Really? Yeah. Wow. And I'm used to having a whole bunch of male friends, always, so it's tough right. for me to be in a place where, you know, you never know if that person's really your friend or just trying to get something. Mm -hmm. What's well, character building and maybe, yes. sub, maybe content for your next... Oh, know. next. It's all the on next. that one. Exactly. <laughs> the next CD. This is called The Setup right here. I talk about my experience in New York on this CD. Right. Yeah. And this is available... Um, it's available digitally everywhere. E-music, yep. iTunes, you name it. It's available off my site. It's available at my shows. Yeah, no, nah, but everywhere. All over the place. Eternia is hanging out on the countdown and we're going to meet your beatboxer friend soon. Yes. Yes, yeah, so don't go anywhere. But have you heard the new roots? I, you, yeah, you're putting me on to the new roots. You I'm the worst. I am the worst. <laughs> Live on TV, I usually buy everything they put out, but I haven't caught the new one yet. Rising Down is the name of the brand new album and this is a song called Birthday Girl. Check it out. 
Welcome back. We're counting down the hottest tip of and R&B videos of the week. And I'm hanging out with my girl, Eternia. What up? One of the dopest MCs you'll ever meet. And introduce us to your friend here. This is Chesney Snow, a beatboxer extraordinaire. Not only my beatboxer, but we work together on occasion. Absolutely. Awesome. Welcome to the show, Chesney. I'm glad to be here. Now, how long have you been beatboxing for? Wow. Um, I've been beatboxing since I heard probably the Fat Boys, Dougie Fresh as a kid, you know? Right. But professionally, probably like six years. Oh, uh, professionally. Six years. So what yeah, does that mean? <laughs> well, I mean, it means that you go off the playground and start like grinding with it. So doing clubs and, and recording and taking it more seriously as an art form. Yeah, so how do you get past, you know, everyone learns the first routine um, from what, the Razel. What is it? The, um, I'm trying to think of the one that if, if you're, your mother if you're mother I knew you were going to do that one. That's the one that everybody learns yeah. from. So Obviously you didn't, but how do you get past, um, you know, busting out of that first sort of trick, three tricks that you might learn? Um, I think you just you, you start looking at the art form as just sound and just trying to create as many different sounds and rhythms as you possibly can, and you just kind of explore your own, I guess, instrument because you're using your body and your imagination as a live instrument. So didn't you help make an instrument? Yes, I'm coming out. <laughs> I'm coming what? out with my own uh, beat machine wow. later this year, uh, where they're using my beatboxing and all of the sampling. So it's we're about to go to war with the Kai. Wow. Uh, and so what does that mean? That your voice is now in the machine and people can voice, sample? Right, and so they can sample. Yeah, and I'm, right. so I have a beatbox segment, and then they also use my sounds as some of the actual drum machines. So oh. it'll be mixed with like the actual drum sounds, the snares, and so forth. Pretty cool. You should be proud of yourself. <laughs> so, Antonio, how do you guys work together? How does it? How does the show go? We have fun. Um, we normally do like a brief kind of interruption from my regularly scheduled, you know, performing the track. Um, we just uh, we have fun. We just do it up. And and more than anything, I'm such a solo artist that I like to share energy with someone else on stage. It's a Word. totally different feel. Um, okay. Well, we're gonna yeah. check out you guys performing in a sec. You won't want to miss it. They're gonna give us a live freestyle. I don't know, show of what they can Extravaganza. do. Extravaganza. That's the word I was looking for. But we're going to check out another one of your videos. Yeah. Tell us about this video we're about to see. We're about to see Struggle featuring myself, Wordsworth, and Ken Star, produced by Tom Mason, representing Canada. We're doing it up. Here it is. Number two on the countdown, Chris Brown there with Forever. What is the number one song? You're going to have to find out after this. Right now, though, Chesney and Eternia, take it away. Show us what you got. All right, Ches. Many of you will try, but not too many can contest with the best. It's your highness, so many die. Many men can't reconcile why E dropping wild. The mind, the eyes, or the way she rhymes. Many ways to seduce many men properly, but don't get it twisted, dude. I'm not property. I said likely, I pass on it nightly. So many men get walked on like they was Nikes. Many maids mad because they men all like me. Get the girls wild up wild and want to fight me. Many times I had to explain my position. I don't want your dude, I'm a businesswoman. I might want to perform, he might want to listen. He might want more, but that much he ain't getting. Many misunderstandings at the chickens. I give many daps to women who elevate and like how many MCs talk shit. Many, many. How many MCs want this? Many, many. How many MCs can't this? Many, 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 many. How many MCs talk shit? Many, many. How many MCs want this? Many, many. How many MCs can't this? Many, 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 many. Yeah. Yeah. Many underestimate, meet me at the night spot on the night off, assume that I can't rock it. Many dudes that I get introduced to, shocked when I give a handshake they ain't used to. That's where I come from, that's how T.O. do, that's how the soul pound's done like it's supposed to. That's how I'm raised, how I stayed, now I told you. Now you pay attention when I, I, I on my vocals. Many men lie, say they dated me, not true. Two hours on, I am, I ain't met you. Maybe we hung out a few times, but it's simple. Never kissed bone to loved you, ain't official. Many things exaggerate. Rated for the ego. Don't believe your man's or your man's man's people. Many people out to destroy what I built up. So many men tell tall tales. It's a setup, cuz how many MCs talk shit? Many, many. How many MCs can this? Many, many. How many MCs want this? Many, 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 many,
I told you she was dope. I told you, very good beatboxing as well. The real question is, how many mics do you rip on the daily? Many, many, many. Many, 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 many. That's right. If you want more information, make sure you check out herbnet.com slash Eternia. E-T-E-R-N-I-A. Yes, that's right. Right now, though, it is time for the number one song. Here it is. I'll see you next week.